I mean, until we can find a way to test the supernatural. Um, I think maybe this could go both ways. Maybe yes and no. Um, because, like I said, um, I think I have to go with um, the Masonic Maniac. What, you know, what is God? How do you define a God? I mean, I mean is God material or is God immaterial? Some people think both. Some people you know, think it's material or immaterial. So, it's hard to say what a God is, you know, I mean, if it's a material God, I guess, yeah, I could go through the scientific method, examine, and if it's immaterial, maybe that too. I mean, maybe you can find the particles and the hydrocollider, and then, but then again, how would you, particles, come up, how, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I think, obviously, God is supernatural, so we have to have probably some other method besides scientific. So maybe, um, it could be no but scientific method, but maybe, um, no, no. Maybe have to be some other method if it's supernatural. But then again, um, if it's natural, but what is God chemicals? What is God's elements? I think it's still supernatural, I mean. Um, so I don't know if it could be even scientific. Really. Sixteen. If you answer yes to your question, how do you avoid a category of grand material elements from a material God? I I don't think it's by scientific method because what are you going to test? You know, it's God is a supernatural entity. I mean, how can you test it? I don't think it's be tested by science. I mean, maybe the only way you could test it was if if there was a, if we saw in the cosmos out there were detected by satellite or something. So, where were we? Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe, so I could, like, we found something in the cosmos, and it was, like, an entity there, you know. And maybe we could, you know, uh, but, the, you know, but how do you know what it is? I mean, it's alien. I mean, you can't say it's God. Would. But if we found some kind of, I don't know, entity out there of some sort, then maybe we could test the, um, the volume, the range, the frequency or something. Maybe that could be tested by science or something. But like I said, how do you know what it is? You know, maybe it's just an alien, <laughs> super entity. And which God is God or is it, you know? So I guess maybe we can be do something like that maybe do we have any purpose as human beings <clears throat> we make our own purpose you make your own purpose in life we do have purpose can you be an atheist please explain how that purpose is determined your actions you know you choose what you want to do in life and how you want to live where does morality come from i think it evolved through you know um 
ever since the caveman. You know, and then they probably pinch him. It's like, ow, don't do that. You know, don't pinch. Uh, don't hit me, you know. <laughs> and so it evolved over time. But then again, it kind of went backwards with the slavery, you know, because that's immoral. And um, I think what happened was this power, everybody wants to be the best power. And um, maybe we don't have free will that. Maybe we're programmed for... Everybody wants to be the best and take advantage of everybody. And you can see that even to this day at work, you know, people jealous of positions, you know, uh, they're going to mock you, you know, um, every day. And I don't know if we, the humans have been wired like that. I think maybe it has to have been through the hardships from caveman days all the way past down to generation. Um, and we just get better over time. You know, evolved morality. And it's just through us, evolution of us learning about more ourselves. That's how the morality evolved. Are there any moral absolutes? I think so. I mean, um, well, it's been said by some atheists that no matter how evil, how a person did so much evil, Nobody deserved to be tortured forever. But then again, there's some evil, evil people out there. And you just feel like the worst. They deserve to be burned forever. Maybe I'm too aggressive. Because I, I, I care for people, you know. I want to see people happiness, but it's, un, it's intolerable. People just doing so much evil in the world. And just go to jail and get away, or, or just die. But, um, but I guess we're talking torture forever. <laughs> Some people say that's a more absolute. That should, there's no excuse for torturing forever. For more being more absolute. Um, and just don't harm people for no reason. That's a more absolute. Um, do you believe there is such thing as evil? If so, what is it? Well, I mean, if you talk about the supernatural evil, no. But if you talk about evil on people in the world, yeah. You believe that the God of the Old Testament is morally bad, but what standard do you judge that he's bad? Well, if he exists, he gives us a brain to evaluate his character. And we know slavery, rape, murder is wrong. And killing and stoning your children and babies for disobeying pretty damn harsh no time out on that now it's time out <laughs> so fantasy genocide that's bad and that's what God does get more than Satan and God created Satan and Satan doesn't kill without God's authority there's no excuse for that it's God Okay, what would it take for you to believe in God? It's got to show itself. It, it's got to be something out there. But like I said, even if there was something in the cosmos, some kind of entity, we don't know what it was. It's some kind of alien, super alien, God, which God is it? <laughs> um, or God. So it has to somehow be dem demonstrable, that's to show itself somehow. Um, but I wouldn't worship, I'd say, okay. Um, but like I said, I, I don't think God will ever be possible. Because, one, it's never going to show up, and, and two, if we found some kind of entity out there in the cosmos, we don't know what it is, some kind of alien, we don't know if it's a God or what God is, and, you know, we could probably communicate, he probably doesn't even know English. So, I don't think I could ever believe in a God. What would constitute sufficient evidence for God's existence? Like I said, um, maybe if it had a beard, when it was a floating entity in space and it had a beard that, <laughs> that looked like everybody described. But then again, you would have to ask, are you the God of this religion or what God are you? Who are you? 
I don't know. Must the evidence be rationally based, archaeological, testable, nah, or what? Doesn't have to be, like I said. There's no way to test the supernatural. Do you think that a society that is run by Christians or atheists would be safer? Why? I say humanists or atheists. It's statistically, you know, atheists score better in everything, living well, less crime, less rape. Uh, so I would say atheist, humanist, secularist. You believe in free will? Yes and no. We have choices, but then again, if you take it way back, how that you don't have a choice. So I have to go with the leads on this. We do have free will, and we don't have free will because um, we can make choices, but um, you never know what's going to happen. Things can happen without. You're making choices. People think that's considered fate. To me, it's just considered just things happen for unknown reasons. And you can't control it. Whether it's in the future or the past. So that's why you don't have free will. You know, I mean, you do. Um, let me a video about this. I'm trying to think what I, what I said about this. Uh, <sighs> um. I can't think. Okay. So... We're not actually leaving free will. Do you see any problem with the finite idea that physical brain is limited in such as the neurochemical law of the brain can still produce free will choices? Either we haven't discovered something in the brain, maybe there's a microchip put in us somehow, a computer chip in there, we haven't found out, or maybe it's just different brain material that. Um, brain material that can produce consciousness and give free will and we just haven't found it yet so no guidance needed and of course the brain everything evolved everything is evolution animals, humans, the cosmos everything the brain got bigger years and years and years billions of years of confirmed evolution and, and that the universe will continue to expand forever then do you think it's probable that given enough time brains will evolve to the point of exceeding mere physical limitation that become free and the physical interpreter and they become a deity not burst by six and time without wine actually yes well, scientists have said we can become kind of godlike. We can upload our brain and consciousness to the computer one day, and um, um, our brains will, will evolve. We will become like a computer or a god. We can have like microchip brain installed with uploaded with the fastest computer. We can become like photographic memory. We can, you know, um. Like I said, upload our brains to computers, consciousness, and so we can become godlike in a way. Um, scientists already have thoughts on that already, and um, so yeah, that's possible. No limits in science. So if you answer the previous question, the firm is that aren't you saying it's possible some sort of god exists? Nope. So, these questions doesn't prove any of any God. You really have to analyze and start and think about this. It's all about science-based and, and thinking. 